What's going on guys? So, I've actually been out in the garage the last couple days, but I haven't been doing anything on the car because I've been cleaning. So I reorganized the whole garage. Got my toolbox up against the wall, went through all that. Uh, this blue box, it's covered by the seat there, but that's all my body working stuff now. I started putting stuff on the wall, but uh, shelf's almost empty. I threw a bunch of stuff up. Found all sorts of neat things. I found this, uh, I don't know, miscellaneous carburetor or something like that. That's kind of cool. Bunch of all stuff I wasn't going to use and kind of tossed it. I actually am selling. I had a nine inch rear end that came with this thing when I bought it. Sold that. So net uh, cost in this thing just went down a bunch more. Uh, but the biggest thing I did was I ended up putting everything on the on the wall that I kind of use on a on a regular basis. Uh, a bunch of speed parts I had because these were all just crammed everywhere. So I hung them up so I know where they are. I was losing things I didn't know I even had. Started doing stuff, putting all my uh, zip disks and grinding disks. So they're all kind of there. Bailing wire, drill bits. I'm using this stuff all the time now. Level squares and all that. Trying to figure out chassis work and all that. So they're handy to have. It's actually a lot of my levels I had in the house. Because I was always using them for like woodworking and uh, stuff like that. Got a bunch of, half my vice grips are out. The other half are still in the toolbox. All my tools I use all the time are up. And then just some more miscellaneous stuff. I actually found all these clutch fans, a couple of carburetors, old Hollies. I actually found a electric cooling fan, which I just bought one. So yeah, actually worked out pretty good. I got a bunch more room for all sorts of other junk up there. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Got a little sheet metal in the corner. Uh, what else do I do? Got my more heavy metal there. Look at that workbench. I don't think it's been that clean since I put it together. So yeah, that worked out fantastic. And then all the tools, this is kind of a temporary thing, but I had this little, it was actually in the garden shed just to kind of hang, but uh, so the plenishing hammer, the bead roller, and then the shear, all, uh, all just hang there, so that's good. So yeah, I got a pile of room in here to work with. I can still do a little screwing around, like the engine crane and all that. I'm still probably going to use it, moving stuff in and out, and I might pull the motor out again to get in the firewall, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm stoked in here. Worked out great. But today, well tonight actually, I think what I'm going to do, uh, a bunch of people are concerned about the steering because uh, of the exhaust. So what I have is this old, I think it's a truck F1 steering box. Oh, it's heavy one-handed. So my plan is to run it just kind of like that. And I'm going to try and have it sit on top of the frame. So what I have to do is actually shorten cut this off and I got another plate I'm going to weld on and then secure it to the side of the frame but it'll sit kind of something like this on top of the frame and do whatever I got to do and I guess I can kind of make it happen so it should be pretty good and then so that'll hang out and then uh, got my link right there I also have to extend this bar across then I also have a super simple uh, push-pull steer. This is an old uh, just bar I had. It's off a Tri-5. I think I have a column. So you're going to see if that'll work. I might have to put some sort of like a U-joint or a wobble joint in there to make it look okay. But at least I can kind of get the, the feel. So I'm going to work on that a little bit. I also got to situate the uh, brake pedal somewhere. So I want to get that going. Once I get those just tack welded in place or bolted on or clamped or whatever, then I can start doing the skeleton for the frame or for the floor, sorry, and start filling that in and go from there. So that's the only real two things I got to worry about. So yeah, it's actually working out pretty good. Now I get to mess up this uh, fine garage. All right, well, it's a while later. I didn't do a whole lot of filming because I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing. Uh, I did have to make a few phone calls on the old hot rod helpline to Brent. But basically, so these would have been the old ears on this thing, which were right at the end. So I cut all those off. I ground it down. I had to pull the plasma cutter. And I cut the plate. So what I'm going to end up doing now, is I guess you got a picture of the ears were kind of right at the end. There's a little bushing in there. But now, how hot is that? Too hot to touch. But I'm basically going to use the exact same design but kind of slide her down probably about 
something like that and weld it in that way it'll push the spline on the other side of the uh, frame and in line so then i got that there i'll burn that together i'll just tack it for now or whatever once it's on the car and on the car itself i got to build a bracket which will then have this shape and obviously there's going to be uh, holes so i just ended up kind of tracing that but it'll be holes in it just like that so it'll sandwich a bolt from the box itself to the bracket on the car and yeah carry on so that's gonna be a job for tomorrow this took a bunch of time cutting and grinding and screwing around and all that so it's about 10 30 now which is past my bedtime on a school night so leave that let it cool off be back out tomorrow and uh, yeah get it all fit up the bracket on the chassis won't nearly have to be as thick and then i can gusset it and do a few different things there so that should go pretty good but that's it for tonight see you guys tomorrow well it's the next day i've actually messed around the garage here a little bit on this uh steering setup and so i don't really know what i'm doing I wasn't filming a whole lot i'm just kind of winging it so uh what i managed to do was I had my little bracket that I just tack welded on to the box and this is another one I made uh, looking back I probably should have made it a little bit bigger the problem I'm running into is if I weld the the tab to the frame there's no way the box will ever be able to come out without the motor coming out as well so that's a bummer uh, so yeah I think I might have to bolt this in like drill some holes and sleeve it so I build a bigger bracket so I might end one of my buddy with a plasma cutter and make something a little more fancy Otherwise, I just dropped it down, and I had this uh, old steering shaft, so I welded it in just to see what it's going to look like. So it's all kind of tack welded together. I got a good angle where I'm happy with it. It should be kind of straight up. Uh, it's got room around the transmission and the motor and all that. It's tight, but uh, that's about as far over as I can be. It's actually touching the inside of the frame. So it'll go up and do its thing. I'm going to need a wobble joint or something kind of halfway through, but I think it should be okay. So I'm happy with that. At least it's tacked together enough I can start kind of, like I said, building the floor. The next thing I'm going to tackle, now that I have that in there, is where the brake pedal is going to go and make sure I have some room for the linkage on the transmission. I might have to modify that motor mount just a little bit, or the, sorry, the frame mount for the body. But, uh, yeah, I'm hopeful. This actually looks kind of cool. So when I do it properly, I'll sleeve it and do all those things and make it look a little nicer. But that's just to kind of get her together, and at least now it'll kind of steer straight ish and if i actually kind of put it together it could actually kind of steer around just while it's tack welded together but yeah so that's that i'm going to pull this uh brake assembly out and think about what it's going to do and see what i can do with it uh well it's actually gonna work out pretty well i think so i just have the uh brakes set up on the floor jack unfortunately i got a long bolt in this motor mount so i can't slide it all the way over uh, again, I guess I can show you how this works on the bench after, but this is an old brake kind of setup out of some old Ford truck or something. And we just took all the guts out of it, so it's empty, and they're going to end up running a big rod to another master. Now, I need a master, like a Corvette style one, that actually has the uh, fittings come out on this side, because I'm not going to have any room with the, with the frame there. But basically, I need to just build a bracket or a spacer and I can go right through the frame and just sleeve it and bolt that on right about where it's going to be now the brake you can see it's on the wrong side of the steering but I'm thinking take that apart and literally do the exact opposite jog so it goes this way and then back up so heat it up with a torch and I mean I can shorten it up or do whatever and then this is irrelevant uh, I can play with that after for its throw and all those things but then it'll be kind of hugging there just have my little hole in the floor on that side, steering column up the center, and then I get my gas pedal over there. It actually should work out pretty good. And then obviously have some sort of panel or something there for uh, to check the fluid. Now I have the bottom set up right flush with the bottom of the frame. So depending on what I do here, and, and you know I can grind away at that or do all sorts of things and, and lift it up just a little bit. But yeah, that actually uh, that'll work out pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I said it needs a little bit of fabrication. I'll have to order a proper master and uh, get some different bolts, some shorter bolts, and put it the pedal. But really, that's all minor stuff. I can uh, start working on my structure for the floor, and I can leave that panel for, for absolute last. Because I don't know, I want to get the, the tunnel 
built and all that but that panel can be removable or something it'll have to be to get to the brakes anyways to a certain extent so whether it's just a panel like this or if it goes the whole way up and I start working on the firewall and yeah it actually should start coming together so I'm going to start cutting some uh, strips of metal and get it kind of about what I want just uh, start it anyways yeah we'll uh, we'll see what happens here at least the back I can start for sure pack and pasture side and the whole firewall around the back of the distributor it's because the distributor is actually sitting inside the uh, car so I need kind of like a, a half a coffee can or something like that to weld in there that sort of shape but yeah let's come together all right so if you're to show you this thing is kind of explain what it all is so this section right here would be like a factory uh, master cylinder so we took all the junk out of it, cut this rod, drilled the holes through it, bolted this plate, and then made a little adapter to a, a new style master cylinder. So essentially, what would have happened originally, it would have had this little rod that would have pushed in the, the original master cylinder. But since we've taken it all apart, it goes all the way through. You'll see in there or not. Woo! But if you now just have an extended rod, it'll do the exact same thing. And the original master is only being used just for the pedal. And the rod will then be, you know, whatever, that's going to be 10 inches long. And it'll work the exact same way. So it makes it a little bit longer, but it's all factory. So now that that's, those all sandwiched together, like I said, I got to make a couple spacers. Then I can put that right to the frame or a bracket. And find a master that has the uh, fittings on the other side. And I'll be all set. So yeah. Back to floor work. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I've kind of cut these uh, bars, just half inch uh, square tube. So I'm going to kind of have it about flush and weld it. And that'll be, you know, do that. And then I'll put some bars, uh, I guess, between them just for some strength, maybe just because. And then I'll clean this up real nice and I can actually run the floor right to the edge. Or if I want it real fancy, I guess I can make a little filler panel in there even, weld to the body. So I'll do that. Uh, at the front, same thing, we have to make like a, a tunnel there, probably this one as well, and I'll probably end up cutting this section out of this while I'm at it, and just do that, but I'm I'm kind of fighting that out, I got a, I ordered some uh, U-joints, so I'd like to get the drive shaft in and know what's going to happen exactly there, I might clear that one, but not the end of the world to make a little tunnel, and I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine there, and then I can, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make like a round tunnel or just kind of like a pie cut, shape of it but I think that's the way I'm gonna go so I'll do that get it all kind of taken care of for here once I get it going I'm thinking I'm gonna build like a little firewall and just do something kind of like that ish across there so that will be a, a piece of steel the whole way across and uh, something the seat can go against and all those things they'll keep the fuel tank and all that out of the pasture compartment and then I can leave that open whatever I want to do. At least that's what I think I'm going to do. We'll see if the plan changes, but so far I think it's pretty good. This is all nice and solid steel, so I got no issues there. And if I want, I can put some, because I think it's just exactly one inch, so that's half, I could just double it up and actually attach this if I want to for a little added strength across on what's left of these cross members. But I think it should be plenty strong for what it is, for a couple of humans in there. And then, like I said, once the sheet metal goes on, if I bead roll it, do whatever, it'll have a lot of strength as well. I should be able to do some fairly large panels across the back anyways. If I don't have much of a transmission hump, <clears throat> I should be able to go all the way across. And then two side panels, and then some sort of transmission hump. But uh, yeah, so we'll get this kind of tacked together, and we'll see what uh, ends up.
Uh, well, I stopped filming on the time lapse because I didn't really know what I was doing. Not that I know what I'm doing now. But this is kind of what I come up with. So I'm just going to do a square tunnel. Uh, so it'll be a few kind of pieces all welded together. But uh, if you kind of envision, you know, one piece there and all the side and another side. Nice little flat top tunnel. Uh, overall, I mean, it's uh, it's got some strength to it. It's all just tacked together. I still got to go up over and attach over there. Uh, here, I just kind of went into this mount. I don't know. I mean, the more you put it together and spider web it together, I guess it'll have more strength. Uh, I built this. I got to cut this little out there for the tunnel. I'll probably just do a smaller one. So I, I stepped it down. I'll step it down one more and then probably nothing at the back. So the same thing, the tunnel will just kind of slowly go to a peak and then into the flat piece of the floor, which will be across the back. So yeah, I'll do all that, and then, uh, I don't know, start building some floor pieces and kind of carry on. Now, at the front, I have it just tacked together, obviously, with the brake pedal and stuff in there. I may have to do some funny jogs or braces or whatever it may be, but uh, who knows? Once the floor's in there, too, it'll have a lot more strength to it. I'm going to carry on this way. Uh, Daniel says supper's ready, so have a little break. Probably be back at it later on tonight. Uh, all right, while well, I'm back at it, just finished up some supper. It's actually already getting kind of late, so I think I'm just going to set up the time lapse real quick, uh, see if I can get a bunch more flooring done, and then probably call it for this video. Be a kind of quick and simple and easy one, and then I'll do a pile more welding. Once I get everything kind of where I want it, because everything's just tacked together, that's pretty boring to watch. So I'll get that all dialed in. And then, like I said, drive shaft in, hopefully all that stuff. And then, uh, figure out bead rolling. So, I should probably get some extra steel, because I'll screw a bunch of it up. All right, let's get at it. That's where I'm going to leave it for tonight and this video. Uh, I'm happy with the center section. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm probably overdoing it a little bit. But uh, it's pretty sturdy. It's all just tacked in. Because uh, I don't know if i got to take something apart to, to weld underneath or do whatever. But I should be able to accomplish everything I need for that. I haven't done anything at the back yet. That one's actually too short. So I'm going to have to make another one and decide how I want to finish it up in the back here. But I'll sleep on that one. And then at the front, I got to figure out, I guess I got to start on the firewall before, because uh, I got tied into the firewall at, at some point there. And uh, like I said, I got to build something around the distributor and, and a few things like that. But ultimately, these will just kind of go up into the firewall somehow. And then I can make my little pieces a lot of flat, kind of cutting, grinding, shaping and all that. And then I'll probably leave, like I said, from this bar ahead uh open i'll carry the firewall down but just where the floor stops or starts i should say i'll leave this section open that way i can do the uh the brake and the steering and uh, all that stuff kind of down the road a little but the rest of it i can get mostly done because there's nothing to really deal with there which is pretty nice and simple i think anyways i'm happy with it should be lots of room. I was worried, you know, I can still get these bolts out. I'm going to put shorter ones in, but they'll be able to come out between the floor. These back ones here, when I put the uh, the floor on top, I'm thinking I'll just drill a hole and then get like a plug or something like that for it. And then the back, I still got to figure out something like over there. So I might just 
have a, a bar going across a piece of rubber and then an angle right there on each side to clamp it and then do the same thing have a hole so i can ask uh, access it but that's for another night it's gotten late i'm tired i gotta work tomorrow and uh yeah need to do a little research make sure i'm doing this right here so that's it for me thanks for watching tell your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i really appreciate it leave a comment if you know anything about this sort of stuff hopefully i'm not done by the time i put this video up but if i have to cut it apart i guess i will See you guys in the next one.